What's going on guys, Bloomington here, and I'm happy to say I'm bringing back an old series I used to do, uh, which is the Terrible Weapon Challenge, and I kind of missed doing this series, um, it was nice and fun for me to try stuff, try different things, and you know, occasionally think, oh, this thing, whenever I use this, it's awful, and I try, that's not actually that bad, or you know, something is exceptionally bad, and you just have fun, have fun using it. So, I decided today to do a video about the AK-12, because... Really, it's, when you watch gameplay of this gun, you think, oh, it's, it's not that bad. When you use it, you think, it's not really that bad. But as soon as you change over to a different gun, you realize, oh, God, it's bad. Just there, I should have killed that guy. He should have been dead. Um, I'm not sure how many rounds I shot, but I, he should have been dead. Uh, it has a nice recoil, I admit. The damage is pretty much standard for carbine. Yeah, oddly, it's a carbine. You could question it's a PDW, but I think carbine is just about right. But... I still think they should add an SMG class, um, which again is for all of them, because then that means that engineers don't rule close quarters because they have PDWs. You know, it'd be good to have SMGs, or things like the MTAR, and so and forth, like stuff like that would fit in. Uh, I think it's a better idea than just having carbines and PDWs. Uh, but anyway, sort of the pose of this weapon, it's available for all classes, so that. that it's kind of a stretch, I know, but that can be a good thing, meaning you don't, you don't have to play glass you don't like in order to use it. Um, it has a fast rounds per minute in burst mode. It has one of the slowest um, in full automatic, only 608 rounds per minute. Burst mode, 750. I personally don't like it in burst mode, it's a bit too inaccurate, um, so I didn't bother using it in my burst, burst mode at all, I don't think. Um, it's in the top four, uh, top four, uh, top five for reloads with bullets left. It's number four, so that's quite quick. Um, it's in the top five for reloads empty as well, at number five. So it is quite a quick reloading gun. I do give it credit, but where it suffers are quite a lot of crucial areas. It's in the bottom five for aim down sight to spread. If you watch when I'm shooting, it does kick out quite randomly. The bullets don't go exactly where they should. And it just, it's just not very accurate. Uh, it has a very random recoil pattern, I find. A lot of the time I'll, bat I'll be about to get a kill, and then it kicks off to the right, and I'm trying to hold it back to the left. It, you know, just watch these clips, and I think you understand. Or use the gun, and you understand what I mean. It was a stretch to even get a gameplay this good. I just happened to be on point today, you'll see at the end. Um, and of course, like I said, it has an unbelievably slow recoil pattern. Vehicle pattern, no, I believe we so rounds per minute, 680 I believe. I think that's been like the top four worst. And the other three all have 650. So technically, it's the second worst rate of fire in the carbine class. And to be honest, this gun isn't actually that bad aside from obviously us saying about the recoil is really annoying, various things like that. Uh, you know, the damage feels to me weaker than most of, the, most of the other ones. And I just don't like it. But as well, it feels like a bad luck charm, personally. And even if it was really really bad at some stuff, but then if it was, like, accurate at mid-range, you know, it'd be fine. It, I, I would count it as a good gun, because it's good at at least one thing. While it's not. Uh, stuff like the ACWR is very good in close quarters. Uh, so, you know, for me, that doesn't count as a bad gun. Um, I don't think anyone counts it as a bad gun. <laughs> you know, a lot of guns have something that they're good at that make them different, but then everything else they suck at, you know. This is not one of those guns. This is god awful. If you haven't used this gun yet, go up and use it. What's kind of a shame as well is the fact that all the other AK-12 guns, or, um, you know, the AKs in this game are actually pretty good. AK-12, I think, is one of my best guns. Um, the DBV-12, which is it's called the DBV, but is actually an AK-12 uh, sniper variant. Uh, they're a bit longer, I think. But, uh, you know, it's very similar either way. Um, the shotgun, which I can't remember the name of, uh, is actually pretty good as well. And this one, this one just sucks. Also, there's the, you could say, I, think, I believe it's called the RPK-12. It's the uh, LMG version. And that one's pretty good as well. There's no... Uh, PW version yet. Uh, there probably will be. <laughs> Hopefully there isn't though. Um, but you know, it, it, this gun is just bad. It feels like a bad luck charm personally. 
I'm not hugely superstitious, but whenever I use this, I find if unless it's an unfair gunfight or the unfair, you know, unless I have the advantage in the gunfight where he's looking the other way or he's reloading or he's spitting next to it at me, I feel it's extremely difficult for me to win a gunfight. If it's a fair thing where we both see each other uh, and we're shooting, you know, both in cover and we're shooting at each other, I feel I'm always going to lose. You know, I, I, 90% of the time I do. Um, so like, I can't really say this gun is really bad, it just doesn't have anything going for it. It's not very powerful when it comes to... Well, not very powerful, it's not, it's not very accurate when it comes to um, recoil. It's pretty standard for damage and like I said, there's nothing really makes a difference. But that's what I was doing, guys. This is a bit of a short video, I'm kind of out of practice on YouTube as I always say, um, but I will be getting better. But that's all for today guys, thanks for watching my videos, Boom on soon, and I'll see you next time guys, Boom on soon out.